The movement of a liquid inside another moving object, known as sloshing, is very important to consider when designing aircraft fuel tanks. To ensure safe operation, engineers need to be familiar with the loads on the structure as well as the change in the center of gravity, which affects the aircraft's stability. To reduce the dynamic behavior, engineers include baffles or partitions to minimize fuel movement and subsequent loading. A collaboration between the CSIR, the NAL Aerostructures and the University of Pretoria is meeting this challenge by establishing a local expert capability in the analysis and design of aircraft fuel tanks. How does it work? For this collaboration, we, the CSIR, the NAL Aerostructures and the University of Pretoria looked at the prediction of fuel loading on aircraft tanks becomes very important when we look at the design of an aircraft tank to ensure that the safe operation of the system and ultimately improving the efficiency of the system. So basically what does this entail? We look firstly at the design of the tank. Once we've designed the tank, we then go and model this to, to get a virtual reality idea of what's going on in the tank. That informs our design decision and ultimately we can then go and manufacture this tank and then Lastly, we need to ensure the safe operation, so we then test this tank in a controlled environment, looking at what is the dynamic loading on this tank. We basically want to know what is the loads that act on the tank walls, on the baffles, and also what is the effect of this fuel movement and how that affects the stability of the aircraft. We need to actually check that this modeling and simulation results that we get is representative of actual physics, because modeling and simulation is only at best an approximation of reality. So for that reason, we then need to go to the University of Pretoria and test this tank in a controlled lab environment. UP's contribution is important because of its unique actuator facilities, allowing large dynamic scale experiments, including sloshing analysis. Once we have ensured that the modeling and simulation results are accurate, we can then use that data to give that to Denel to inform their decision making during the design process. It is at Denel Aerostructures where the rubber meets the tar or rather, where the fuel gets to slosh or not. It is here where the new technology was applied to a system under development and tested. The role that Denel played on the slosh tanker project is related to designs that Denel has had on integrated fuel tanks, on indigenous aircraft like the Impala, and also on external fuel tanks that Denel has designed specifically for the Roifaka Tech helicopter as part of keeping it uh, operational in its deployment in the South African Air Force. The drop tank that you see behind us, this was a design that enabled the aircraft to get uh, additional range in terms of kilometers. The drop tank is about 500 liters of capacity and with two tanks attached to the aircraft it gives it extra range of about 300 kilometers depending of course on the conditions under which the aircraft is flying. The development of the software also with the integrated with the design of the specific tanks and the manufacturing is adding an advantage to Denel commercially uh, for two reasons. Number one, it creates a capability that Denel can commercialize globally into the market. Such a capability to design and also optimize fuel sloshing capabilities in aircraft is quite, it's, it, it will be a growing demand and creates a competitive advantage for Denel. Denel is currently working on a concept of a turboprop 24-seater aircraft called SARA. Uh, SARA standing for Small African Regional Aircraft. With the advent of aircraft like SARA in the development, having to design the fuel tanks and the fuel systems for SARA in the future, this capability that we've developed now, in partnership with UP and also in partnership with CSIR, gives an added advantage with regards to future development of aircraft. This will enable us to reduce the design and also the certification and development uh, cycles of future aircraft that we will be working on. This collaboration is made possible through the Department of Trade and Industries Aerospace Industry Support Initiative. DTI has got a mandate to basically uh, develop the industry. We are also aware that uh, we need to be competitive uh, globally. Aerospace is a knowledge economy. It's driven by high skills, it's driven by technology development. So aerospace, we see it as a driver of industrialization. IEC's role in essence uh, it facilitates uh, technology development. It also plays a very key role in the transformation of the industry uh, by ensuring that uh, there is wider participation through SMMEs into the aerospace industry. 
IEC is an aerospace initiative that is hosted and managed by uh, CSIR. So we need to play that key role of being a technology-driven industry to ensure that South Africa is advancing. The CSIR, our future through science.